Bhagavad Gita, text 3.28. However, O mighty armed one, one who knows the truth concerning the two spheres, action and the gunas, and thus thinks that only the gunas interact with one another, remains unattached. In this verse, Krishna distinguishes the enlightened from the unenlightened. The enlightened understands the influence of material nature's gunas and the actions they cause the body to perform, karma. The word vibhaga in this verse can also be understood to indicate the soul. It is that which is categorically different from guna and karma by virtue of its being the revealer of all that is insentient within the realm of guna and karma. Footnote 5. Madhusudana Sarasrati explains guna karma vibhagayoho as a samhara dvandva in the collective singular. The enlightened know not only guna and karma, they also know the soul. Here, the soul is described as the non-doer. It is, however, a doer in terms of being the only initiator of action through its desire. The soul, as doer, non-doer, will be further explained in chapter 5. One who is in full knowledge of the influence of the three gunas and material nature in relation to the gods, senses, sense objects and so on, knows that in all action only the senses interact with the sense objects, while the soul remains aloof. The bewildered soul suffers and enjoys vicariously through his identification with material nature. In the next verse, Krishna explains the logical conclusion of the previous two verses. It is also the conclusion of the theme that began with verse 26.